So, before you mess with, consume, or attempt to eat any form of a wild mushroom, absolutely be 100% certain of the species that you are dealing with, that it is edible, and you are familiar with its lookalikes. Because picking the wrong mushroom can send you to the hospital or worse. With that said, what I'm talking about today is called a deer mushroom. Uh, it's a very common, very easy to find, and fairly easy to identify mushroom. It's not considered a choice mushroom, but it is one of the ones that I, that I do enjoy eating. And what I'll do is I'll fry it up in a pan with a little bit of seasoned salt, a little bit of garlic, like I do most mushrooms. Let's check it out. So what we have here is one called a deer mushroom. These are not considered a choice mushroom, but I actually enjoy eating these. Now with a deer mushroom, there is only one poisonous look-alike, and it's called an entheloma. So the best way to identify this is one, because it's growing environment. It likes to grow on dead, rotten trees, and especially after rain, it's a more humid um, type environment. Uh, it grows from spring into autumn, um, grows in a lot of different places. It's a very reluctant mushroom. If you look closely at it, all three of these are the same thing at different maturity levels. You can see that it has a pinkish gill. They're very closely spaced together and it has free gills, which are completely separate from the stem, as you can see on all of these. The lookalike does not have that feature. The lookalike does have the pink gills, however, the gills are not free on the lookalike. The mushroom can be four inches in diameter, or the cap can be about four inches in diameter. The stems can get up to about half an inch or so thick. And they can grow in clusters, although they're more sparsely located. My favorite way to cook these mushrooms is just to slice them up and pan fry them. It's what I do with all mushrooms. It's just my preferred cooking method. However, the more mature this mushroom gets, the pinker the gills will get. So, with that in mind, you would like to, you want to try and avoid some of the more mature ones. But with that said, this is a great mushroom. Well, so that's it for the deer mushroom. Um, I was hoping to find more, but wasn't able to find any more uh, species of mushrooms today. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. If you haven't already, hit that bell dingling icon down below. You'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Uh, sorry the video wasn't quite as long as some of my last ones have been. But uh, I'll see you guys next week, hopefully with another species of mushroom or some other cool tip.